Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome back to this week's Children's Corner. We're still looking at some of Paul's letter to the Ephesians this week. And we're thinking about the gifts that God has given us. Now, if I was to ask you, what is the greatest gift that God could give us? I'm sure you could think of lots of things that are really important and really good. But, you know, if I was to suggest one thing, I would say that maybe the God's greatest gift to the whole of the human world not just to me or to you or to a few people, but to everybody across the world is the gift of music. One of my favourite composers is a man called Johann Sebastian Bach. Uh, he's written lots of music that's famous now, and if I played you some of his tunes, you'd probably recognise them. Bach lived uh, about 250 years ago, and many people regard him as one of the world's greatest composers ever. And even in our hymn books today, we still find his name popping up in connection with some of the tunes that we sing in church. But you know, there was something Bach did that has always struck me. At the end of every piece of music he wrote, he added three letters, S, D and G. S, D, G. And you're probably, probably wondering, well, what does S, D, G mean? Well, it's the Latin soli deo gloria, which means to God alone be the glory. You see, even though Bach was a, a, a genius in musical terms, uh, he, even though he was one of the most extraordinarily gifted musicians the world has ever known, he realised that all of that was a gift from God. And he had a responsibility to use his gift for God and dedicate all his work to God. Music is so important when we worship together. The Bible tells us that we should... Uh, sing psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, make music in our hearts to the Lord. You know, singing is such an important part of worship. But you know, some people come to church and they make all sorts of excuses. You know, I've often heard them say things like, well, I can't carry a tune. And you know, that's true. There are some people that can't sing in tune. But the Bible doesn't say, sing to the Lord with a beautiful voice. It says, make a joyful noise to the Lord. It doesn't matter if we, we're not great singers, if we can't sing in tune. We still need to praise God with our lips and with our hearts. You know, another excuse might be that we don't like or know the songs that we sing in church. But you know, we don't sing them because we like them. We sing them because they're an offering to God. They're for him, not for us. And since God created the gift of music, I suspect that he likes all sorts of things, even if we don't like them. The Bible also says, sing to the Lord a new song. Well, how do we sing a new song without learning it? Every hymn and song that we sing in church was a new song once upon a time. The important thing is that when we sing, whether we're good singers or not, whether we like the songs or know them or not, that we do our best to worship God and to give him the glory. S-D-G, soli deo gloria, to God alone be the glory.
God bless you. God keep you safe. And see you again next week.